In today's video, I wanted to share some SwiftUI animations that are pretty mind-blowing. Before we get into things, drop a like down below, hit subscribe if you're new here into iOS, say hello in the comments for the YouTube algorithm, it actually helps a lot, and let's jump in. So there is this package, or repo I should say, on GitHub called Open Swift UI Animations. It's by Amos here, who's quite active on LinkedIn, and he does some amazing work with Swift UI. And he has this repo that I came across accidentally, even though I have seen his work elsewhere on LinkedIn. And I just wanted to showcase some of these animations because they're just like insanely good. And they showcase the power of Swift UI pretty seamlessly. So let's take a look at some of these and uh, let's let's see what, what we can do. So the first one, which I thought was awesome, is this Christmas tree animation. So let me actually jump back here. I think I clicked on the GIF here. We'll hit the Swift file and you can literally just copy and paste this. So I'm gonna take this whole thing in here. And what I will do down here is just add a mark for animations and I will toss it there. And before we start looking at how this even works, let's just see this in action. So I'm gonna just instantiate that view right in here. We'll hit Command B to build, make sure it's compiling and hit our refresh button in the uh, canvas on the right. And just like that, you can see this awesome tree animation. We've got that uh, star at the top. We've got this like, like cylindrical rotation type deal. And if we go down and look at it, it's actually kind of long because it's redundant in terms of all these circles, but the the premise of it is fairly simple, right? So let's take a look at the top of this here. So we've got a state here for it spinning, which makes sense. That controls uh, the actual animation. Here we have hue rotation, so we get the color change. We have an animation modifier. There's a bunch of stacks going on in here, particularly Z stacks with circles, um, with strokes to get the actual circles on top of one another. There's some loops going on in here for our circles, which also makes sense, with some rotation 3D effect. That's how we actually get the circle to not be you know, flat. So I'm not gonna talk through every single aspect of these because I wanna look at a couple more because they're just nuts and awesome. So let's go back here to the repo. Let's take a look at maybe two or three. So this one's also really cool, the Duolingo like welcome animation. For those of you who have used uh, Duolingo, the uh, language learning app. So we are going to copy this guy here and I'll probably need the image, perhaps not, let's see. Let's copy and paste this here and see if I'm able to get away with just using this without the actual asset. All right, let me go ahead and just instantiate this. Let's refresh our preview over here. And all right, we definitely don't get it. And the reason that we don't get it is because we are missing the uh, images. Okay, so in this case, let's go to the next one. So in this case, what we wanted to do is we can grab the actual assets so we can run uh, that animation, but I just don't wanna waste time on our project to do that. Let's take a look at another one here. So this one's pretty cool too. This is a simpler one that I think is, um, will be more commonplace in most projects. So this is like a fluid music uh, button to basically pause and play. Let me go and copy that. You can use SF symbols for something like this, which is really cool. All right, we're just gonna toss this right there. Let's give our preview a refresh or canvas, I should say, and I'll tap on this. And just like that, uh, as I'm holding, you can see that there is the highlighted state, but the cool thing is the, it's kind of hard to see is the, the circle that flashes. Um, and it also bounces a little bit. So it's kind of like a shrinks and um, kind of expands. So you can do this with a bunch of different symbols. Let's continue onwards. There's another one in here that I thought was really, really cool. Uh, if I can find it. So they're actually all pretty cool. So in this case here, we have the uh, just animation. So let's see. Let's go back to this here. So we have the fireworks animation, I should say. Uh, and it looks like this just URL is broken. So I guess we will skip that here, but it does look like there are several more here. So yeah, that's kind of the nuts and bolts of this video. Go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, he also offers, I think, courses on Udemy. I definitely saw somewhere in here, but there's a ton of animations and it's really cool. So check out his work. Uh, I'm gonna link to this repo down below in the video description. I'll probably also tag him on LinkedIn, but awesome work with all these animations. 
Um, I was definitely inspired when I saw all of these. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are as well. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any other cool Swifty Y packages you want me to look at um, or you want to hear more about. Some of these are just like so brilliantly awesome. I'm super obsessed with this, uh, this Christmas tree one. So thanks for watching. Before clicking away, hit that like button down below. I will catch you on the next one.